Now in case you're wondering why I put strips of metal up here, one of my favorite work lights of all time are just nice little rechargeable magnetic work lights. Stick them up there, move them where I want, and we're good. Nice and bright, LED rechargeable. I can take them down, use them elsewhere. With some very nice bright settings on them. This one's adjustable. Can adjust this one up. Adjust it down. Love it. This one over here, that'll last something like 11 hours on low setting. This one will last seven hours on low setting. So I get more than enough time out of them in in the evenings work, but uh, you do have to remember to recharge them once in a while. This one you can run with it plugged in. I'm not sure about that one. I haven't tried it yet, but works for me. So, so far we have, eh, pretty easy to tell what we have. Got a shelf up above, starting to get our workstations kind of set up, kind of just trying to Get ready for the winter's worth of work, you know what I mean? I kind of want to be able to hit the ground running this year. So that's that's why we're working on what we are right now. Plus I'm using what I have and this is all recycled, repurposed boards. Now, sometimes you could build some decent stuff out of old junk, what some people consider old junk, but I don't know, it kind of fits the look of the rest of the barn, I figure. So we're just going to keep going. So I've never been a, I've never been a pegboard kind of a guy. Just one of those things I've never really cared for. I'm not sure why, I just... I've always liked to just kind of throw some screws in the wall to hold stuff up. Easy enough to move around, make changes if I want to, down the road, things like that. But uh, it's just kind of my preferred method of trying to organize. Of course, I try to organize a lot. And you guys can tell looking around here. Maybe it doesn't always work out. But, um, you know, little things like this always help a little bit and just even if it's just a matter of being able to find your stuff when you need it and um, it's just a big help I mean part of this for me doing this right now is just trying to get to where I can uh, it's just less stuff on the floor less stuff floating around in limbo you know, that kind of gets to be a pain after a while. And it just seems like you... Seems like you never make the room you need. Little knickknacks all over the place. I forget I own sometimes. I think 
I'm kind of running out of stuff to hang on here for one night. I'll just keep adding to it as we find stuff without trying to overcrowd it too awful much. But it's getting there. At least there's some stuff I'll be able to find it for at least the next project. And then, uh, holy cow, is this filthy. What happens when you leave your leave your socket set open in the barn? So here we are, another night, another step closer to some organization. It's a pretty good feeling. I mean, we we're just all the stuff we've got hanging here. This evening is pretty much just from what I've been picking up here and there around the barn and I have uh, I have so many tools I have to get hung up and organized but I've got to remember that I'm going to have another bench the same length going down the other the whole rest of this wall when we frame this other wall here this week and got to try to remember I don't need to pack it all into one little area that's that's a bad habit I have, you know, just, oh, we get it all at once, you know, instead of taking a step back and saying, well, we could space this out a little bit. You know, that, that's what happens, though, when you're used to working in small spaces. You, you tend to, you make a big mess everywhere, but in your workspaces, you tend to kind of pack everything in there a lot more than you need to. So I'm sure we'll, we will add to this as we go, as we just find stuff we need and probably take stuff away we don't need. I mean, this is this is going to be the forge here, but uh, pretty much all the metal working will be done in this room just because we'll have this closest to fire safe, closer than anywhere else because we'll have a lot of metal on the walls in here, things like that. Um, we are going to be getting that exhaust fan put in here pretty quick for the uh, the forge hood and all that good stuff, so we get that in. We can get the forge moved where I want it, get the anvil set up in its final spot, and uh, I guess we just start getting after it, start cutting material, and start forging out. We're gonna make, uh, we're gonna make a few tools to make what I'm doing a little more streamlined, make it a little more reproducible, things like that, but you guys will have to stay tuned. And So, anyway, and in case you're interested, I have been studying up on log building extensively here for the last couple of months. I guess there's another hint for you there. So anyway, I will catch you guys on the next one.